quick wristwatch check before I start. This is a lovely day date orient, model number SCV-0J001. Does not get enough wear time as I prefer chunkier and diver style watches. Still a great piece nonetheless. Which is one of the main reasons why I ordered a Zelos Hammerhead 3. It comes packaged in a wooden box with a watch carry case. It is very sturdy and chunky and this is just like a tank. I think the case is made of leatherette material with plenty of storage compartments. I usually use a single leather watch case like this one here. There's a metal warranty card with the start date of the warranty and a serial number. The watch comes with a one year warranty. As a matter of fact, I think this case will make a very handy carry organizer and not just for carrying watches. Let's peel some stickers and talk specs. The case diameter is 44 millimeters, 48 mil lug to lug, 22 mil lug width. The bracelet is made from 316L stainless steel with quick adjust milled clasp. It tapers from 22 millimeters to 20 millimeters. It is around 15 millimeters in thickness, including the double dome sapphire crystal. The crystal has inner AR coating. The markers on the dial and bezel are loomed, as well as the sign crown and the Zelos logo on the dial. The case has an interesting mixture of matte and satin polished finishes. It also has flat and angular surfaces. I purchased the Hammerhead 3 because I wanted another diver that has very similar angular case finishes like my Seiko Prospect Alex. I didn't want to pay four to five thousand US dollars for another LX. I'm not directly comparing the LX to the Hammerhead 3, as they are fairly different. However, they're both divers with 300 meters water resistance. They both have a muscular and angular look on the case as well as the bracelet links. Make sure you stay till the end for some stills and impressive Zelos loom shots. I'm extremely impressed with the design and the build quality of the Zelos. It has heft, it is solid, it looks good. Above all, it feels like you can take a good bashing. And all of that for a price of $449. I actually only paid 349 US dollars when I bought it during the early discount period, direct from the Zelos site. The bezel inserts a ceramic on this model. I know that some models come with stainless steel inserts. It has a 120 click unidirectional bezel. No back play at all. Very impressive. The bezel is edged in such a way that you can still turn it whilst wearing gloves as demonstrated here when I use the soft cleaning cloth. Very solid and affirmative clicks, which is how I like it. Lines up well, no issues there. The movement is a reliable NH35 with hacking hand winding. Decent sized crown at the four o'clock position. Pull it to position one to adjust the date, which is at the six o'clock position. Pull it again to position two to adjust the time. Once again, good solid clicks into each of those positions. Very well made. Screw down crown, of course. It's time for adjusting the bracelet. Do take care as the screws in these links are seated slightly inside each link. So you will need the correct size tool to get to them or risk scratching the links. As a matter of fact, I might have scratched one of the links myself. Here is a close up of the watch itself. One thing that I just noticed is that the case area that surrounds the crystal is a 12 sided polygon. It's called a dodecagon. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. I've just put the word on the screen. A very, very nice touch. I think it's, um, I don't think I've seen another watch like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. You can always comment below. 
Anyways, let's take this off and show you the quick adjust. It is as simple as pulling the lever back and then extending it. I think the full extension may be around 5 to 6 millimeters. You don't need to hold on to the lever to push the links back in. It's a bit fiddly at the moment only because perhaps the watch is new, but it is smooth. Here is a muscular beast in the gym. I normally wear one of my quad sensor G-Shocks, but the Hammerhead 3 will definitely do today. I am sure it could handle itself in the gym. 